What's up two timers? Today the new Windows 10 fall update came out. So today we're going to go through it and see what new features have been added to Windows 10 and if it's even important to download. I'm kind of excited about it because, you know, Windows is my life basically. I work in Windows all day, so let's see if they made anything nice and new for creators, for YouTubers, for everyday users. Stay tuned so you can find out what this new update is all about. Let's make it quick. All right, so here we are. Apparently, this update is going to take forever. So, I'm gonna cut this part out after the update is done and we'll get right into the features. So here we are back after the time skip. So I got it installed on my computer and as you can see, Windows doesn't look much different except for this button here that looks like it's, I guess your people, you can pin contacts to your taskbar so you can talk to them whenever. That's a cool little feature if you wanna integrate Windows 10 with your Android phone or even your iPhone. So you can pin them there, you can click on them, send them messages. The messages will go through Skype sometimes. Um, yeah, that's pretty decent. Now Cortana got a little bit of an update, but I don't use Cortana, so you're not really gonna see nothing from my end here. But it looks like Cortana now has a speaker that you can place in your house and buy it. That's pretty cool. Let me see what's here. Nothing. So here we are at my favorite site, The Verge. It's got 10 of the features that are, you know, most noteworthy of talking about. So let's just go through them real quick. OneDrive files on demand. So OneDrive has placeholder files that it places on your computer so it's easier to access your files from OneDrive. Might be useful if you actually use OneDrive, but I definitely don't, so we'll skip right over that one. People integration, just like I was talking about at the bottom right of the screen, you get to place people onto your taskbar and talk to them. You can use it to Skype call them, message them, send emojis, you know. Basically have conversations with anybody quickly from your computer, kind of like Apple does. Now here's the big thing about this update is Windows Mixed Reality. It's basically Microsoft's version of VR. It's supposed to be amazing. This will definitely need to be looked at in depth if you really want to understand what it is. But basically it's, it's VR for Microsoft Windows. And uh, it looks pretty cool. Thing is you'll have to buy third party headsets from these different manufacturers for it to work on your new computer. So they've also had some fluent design changes, you know, basically like blurs and effects that make the whole, the whole transitions and things of your computer look better. You probably won't really notice it. It's a lot of little tweaks. Microsoft Edge now lets you pin websites. Uh, I don't use Edge. I wouldn't suggest people use Edge, but if that's what you use, this might actually be useful to you. Pin and touch improvements. I also don't use my touch screen due to fingerprints, but having a pin might actually be cool. As you can see here, it's different fonts and things like that. They've added emoji to Windows 10. Emoji are taking over the world, this is crazy. So yeah, basically an emoji panel. You can summon the emoji panel by using the Windows plus period or semicolon as a keyboard shortcut. The panel also supports searching for emoji. That's a cool feature. So yeah, basically you can send emoji in your conversations. Cortana improvements. Cortana will now display call notifications if you're using an Android phone. So yeah, just like I said, it's, it's kind of bridging the gap between your phone and your computer like, uh, like Macs do. You know how you'll get a message on your iPhone and it'll show up on your Mac too. It looks like 
Microsoft is starting to implement that into their systems. Headphone and sound improvements, which is something good for everybody. If you use headphones a lot with your Windows 10 PC, then they'll be a lot easier to manage with the Fall Creators update. You can right click on the sound icon in the notification area and enable Windows Sonic, a spatial sound feature that supports surround sound in Dolby Atmos. Okay. New volume mixer also supports the ability to control individual app volume for universal Windows apps. Definitely useful for everybody, not just people who use certain things. Task manager GPU tracking. Okay, so you're able to track your GPU performance through the task manager. That's something that's kind of been missing. You can see it here. It looks like that's, you know, the most important parts of the update. It's not nothing major like you would think, unless you're really into Windows Mixed Reality. I'll probably be buying a piece for that soon. But yeah, there you have it. The new features of Windows 10. Let's snap back to the outro. So there you have it, a quick little rundown of a couple features of the new update for Windows 10. There's a couple things I didn't mention because they probably wouldn't matter to the normal everyday user. There was an update to security, which you're probably not gonna notice, but it will help you out. There was an update to the Photos app, so you can start you know, drawing on your pictures, you know, little quirks like that. Not really too important. Microsoft Edge got a bunch of updates, but who actually uses Microsoft Edge? The Microsoft Store got a new icon. I think the things that are most important to everyday users is the fact that you can place the contacts on your taskbar now. You can message them through, your, through the contacts on the taskbar. That seems like a big thing for normal everyday users, especially people coming from Macs, because they're gonna be able to do what they used to do on Macs. And you know, it might, it might bring some new users to Windows. But overall, if you're not excited about the Windows Mixed Reality, this update probably isn't going to mean much to you. So I'm going to leave a link in the description with a complete list of different things that were updated with this new update. Tell me what you were excited for about this update. Me, not really much because I just recently found out about the Windows Mixed Reality. I'm kind of late. So tell me which part of this you were excited for. Leave a comment and I will read it and reply to everything that you guys say. But in the meantime, I will catch you guys on the next video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm out. Peace.